What's up guys? I finally got all of the micro drag car parts in from Shapeways, so we're going to do a quick build guide for anyone who wants to build one themselves. You'll need to grab the main chassis, motor plate, and micro drag parts off of my Shapeways store. I'll have a link to it in the description. I'll also leave links to the rest of the parts you'll need and we'll cover them as we're building. First off, we'll prepare all the printed parts by cutting them apart from each other and cleaning up the edges. I did this with a razor knife and then touched up the white areas with a black marker. Before I start assembly, I wanted to point out how much stiffer the new chassis is. You can see the little bit of thickness I added stops it from flexing so much. Now we can install the motor. You'll need a 2430 size motor and a slot car pinion gear. This was the hardest part of the build for me as you need to solder the pinion onto the motor shaft. There's a lot of tips online on how to do this, so I suggest reading and watching some videos if you've never done this before. After the pinion is on, the motor can be installed onto the motor plate. Before the motor plate can be mounted to the chassis, we need to assemble the rear axle. You'll need two 332nd bearings, a 332nd axle, a slot car crown gear, and a set of 1 and a 16th inch diameter rear wheels. The links in the description below are everything that I use, but feel free to experiment with different gearing or tires. The bearings are pressed in and the crown gear needs to be installed on the axle as it slides into place. I'll leave it loose until I get the motor installed. Rear wheels are then installed. They need to be snug up against the chassis, but still spin freely. Now the motor assembly can be installed on the chassis using two of the M3 by 4.8 millimeter screws. At this point, the gear mesh can be set by sliding the crown gear towards the pinion and tightening the set screw. The servo can be installed next. The mounting tabs need to be cut off the servo, and then I use some double-sided tape on the bottom before securing it with the upper mount with two more M3 screws. We can then move on to the front steering. The front steering blocks need to be put together. You'll need two M2 by 16 millimeter screws that get threaded into the side of the blocks. You'll also need two micro ball studs, one for the servo and one for the right steering block. These are from an Orlando Hunter kit. They are pretty tricky to screw in if you don't have the right size hex driver. I just used a pair of pliers and carefully screwed it into the plastic. We can assemble the wheelie bar using two 3x6x2.5 mm bearings and two M1.2 screws. It is then attached to the chassis using four M3 screws. We can install the steering blocks. It's a good idea to use a blade or drill bit to open up the holes on the chassis a bit so the screws rotate smoothly. The steering blocks are installed with the shorter side on the bottom using two M3 screws for each block. Make sure not to over tighten them so they rotate smoothly. To finish up the steering, we'll install the lower steering arm with the countersunk holes facing the bottom of the chassis. Two more M3 screws are used to attach the arm to the steering blocks. These need to rotate as well, so don't over tighten them. The upper steering arm is popped onto the ball studs and that part is done. The chassis is finished up by installing the front wheels using an M2 nut. I forgot to mention the hole in the wheel needs to be drilled out slightly to fit onto the M2 screw. Now we can install the rest of the electronics and it's ready to go. I didn't cover the body, but the chassis was designed so that it should fit most slot car drag bodies. One thing to note before we make some passes is traction compound is required for these cars just like any other drag car with foam tires. A clean prepped surface is also recommended for straight fast passes. I didn't have a lot of traction compound left and definitely didn't have a clean or prepped surface. So my runs aren't as good as they could be. These cars are a ton of fun. 
Like I said in the beginning of the video, all of the things needed to build your own will be listed in the description below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them as best as I can. Make sure to tag me in your Instagram photos if you build one yourself. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching.